Welcome to Sketching Fine Art. So today, exciting day today because today I finally got myself something that I've actually been after for quite a long time. If you remember in one of my previous unboxings I got the Nintendo Switch Lite uh, and it's been absolutely great. Loved every second of it. Nice compact little machine. But now because of the uh, coronavirus and you know the situation that everyone's going through we're all in isolation and this on its own isn't too great especially if you've got kids like me so I kind of in one way did regret getting this and not getting the proper switch and so I was kind of like umming and ahhing about whether I should get the proper one or not and I thought you know what let's just go ahead and get it this is the time where you can spend a bit of time with your family have a bit of fun on the uh, on the games and so I went ahead and decided to go ahead and do this but biggest problem right now that because everything is in lockdown there's a lot of factories that have short there's no production going on it's absolute nightmare trying to get hold of the nintendo switch it's in absolute no shops at all online and when a few of these um kind of models the original N nintendo switch models come out they get sold out immediately by these flipping buyers who want to just sell them on ebay and amazon for double the price literally double the price um which is not fair at all and i hate it and there should be a law against that especially in a time of kind of like desperation if you like well it's not really desperation is it we can all live without games but you know it just helps kind of like especially if you've got your kids at home like i have and you know it's just to have a little bit of fun and you know a bit of time that you can spend together so anyway um I've been looking every single day for for the actual Nintendo Switch and with no uh, kind of success on it until just a few days ago in the morning when I quickly checked uh, on the comparison stock checker sites. Uh, there was nothing available and then I was about, just about to literally give up. Uh, but then I thought, you know what, let's go into the shops one by one and just see uh, whether we're going to get it. And lo and behold, I ended up finding one Nintendo Switch in Smith Superstores and guess what came through the post today yes you're right my Nintendo Switch so I decided to go ahead I didn't think about it I didn't think twice I just went ahead got my card out and just ordered it I was actually a bit skeptical I thought it might have been an error on the website because a lot of times these websites have errors on whether they've got the stock or not when it goes to checkout it doesn't work but yes it came through today so uh, happy days so I'm quite excited about this one never had uh, a Nintendo Switch original like this before so this one is the updated version that came out around about the same time that the Switch Lite came out uh, so we've got an improved battery and we've got uh, a new kind of uh, processor card in there I think uh, but it's generally it's just improved battery performance uh, compared to the original one that came out in 2018 I think it was uh, those original 2018 models are still out there so if you are trying to get one of these don't waste your time on that make sure that you get one that's in a red box like this and make sure it's the updated one I think there's a serial number on it that will tell you that it's the updated one so I don't know where that is on this so uh, but do do make sure that if you do manage to get your hand on one of these and it's going to be really dif difficult to in this time um, that you do get the the updated ones so yeah so this one just arrived in the post literally just now so I'm just going to move my switch light out of the way don't want to damage that um, and let's get on with this unboxing so I went for the neon one they had the grey one in stock as well I think but I just clicked on you know the first one that came on and I wanted this neon blue and red one really like the uh, look of it um, so yeah, so just have a quick look at the box yeah so that's the side over here we've got the kind of serial number there we've got the back of the box turn it around we've got the blue and red switch um, uh, what, what do they call them? I think the Joy-Cons, that's it, they're called Joy-Cons, so Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons that it comes with. On this side, just turn it around on here, what do we have here? We've got, that's the setup, and there's the Switch, and happy days. So let's so, so have a quick look at the other side, we've just got a bit of blurb of what it's all about. Now, the reason I kind of got this was so that we can play on the telly, so it, it, it's, it's effectively a replacement for my Nintendo Wii, which is kind of getting a bit outdated now, you know, we've just got the them old games that we've got, uh, Mario Kart's great on it, but um, I, I really wanted something that's a bit updated, and especially with uh, games that are just coming out right now, like Streets of Rage 4, which I've got to say, 
one of my favourite games of this year. In fact, probably one of my all-time favourite new uh, platform uh, kind of revamp games. Absolutely loved it and I can't wait to play this on this Nintendo Switch on the telly. Uh, and you can have up to four or even I think five players on it. So I can't wait for that. So let's get on with this unboxing. Now again, with the Nintendo kind of overall thing, they never have any of their boxes completely sealed, which I absolutely hate. So uh, I just don't understand why they don't seal anything. Everything's like, you know, in a box that can any easily be opened by anyone, uh, you know, wherever you're buying it from. So that's always disappointing, but here we go. So get that flap open. Don't want to damage my box. I want to open this quite carefully. Slide that down, very nice. So let's just lift that up. There's a bit of instruction here. So let's get that the right way round. So on the inside, we got start, uh, plug it in, nice and easy, simple. Put the Joy Cons on, support at Nintendo, super duper simples. Turn that over like this. Now let's reveal it. Ooh, look at that. It's always great looking at a new product, isn't it? When you open it for the first time, look at that. So there we have it, we've got the Joy-Cons on the left and right and we've got our main unit here. Let's get rid of the main unit for now, just get it out. Very nice, well at least that's in some sort of packaging, even though it's not sealed, it is in packaging. Um, yeah, looking very nice. Quite heavy actually, I mean compared to the uh, Switch Lite, if you just have a look at this, it's actually, it is, it is a lot bigger in terms of the screen size, just get that out of the way, so it's a lot bigger in terms of the screen size uh, but you know, I mean the Switch Lite pretty much the height of it fits into the actual screen size itself so that's interesting uh, but I do love my Switch Lite, as I said before, absolutely love it I wouldn't change it for anything, uh, especially when it comes to being mobile but things might change when I start using this, so let's just move this to the side, it will put the unit here Let's get these lovely Joy-Cons out, so there's that neon uh, red, very nice, that looks really nice actually. I really like the black buttons on it, that, the, the issue that I had with the um, the Switch Lite was that they've got the white buttons on and after use they're always going to get kind of like, you know, worn out and the colour's going to get worn out on them and they're going to look a little bit dirty. So I don't know why they didn't stick to the black, it looks so much better in the black. Uh, but hey, that's just Nintendo 8, so let's just get that out and have a look at this. Yeah, that's looking nice, that. Now, there is always uh, these Joy-Con drift issues with these Joy-Cons, and I never did fix them. They didn't fix it for this update, which, uh, you know, it's just typical Nintendo, isn't it? Uh, just want to make money and don't want to make things right. Uh, but whatever, hopefully we won't have an issue with these. So let's just put that Joy-Con to the side over here. Let's get the blue one out. So there you go. That's a gorgeous blue, that, isn't it? Look at that for a blue colour. Wow, so there we go, so we've got the blue one. Now again, the, the problem we got with these Joy-Cons that you know you don't have with the Switch Lite is that you've got the proper D-pad, and I use that D-pad all the time for Streets of Rage, I love using that D-pad. Now for this, you've got the four buttons, so that's gonna be a little bit different, but I do have another controller, well it's actually my brother's controller for the Nintendo Switch, and I'll probably end up using that uh, most of the time. So there's our lovely Joy-Cons, we can move these to the side here. Get them out of the way, Let's see what else is in this box. Okay, so that was just a little tray thing. Just gonna move that out. So looking good. Move that to the side. And what do we have here? Right, so let's have a look at the middle first. Start off with the middle. So this is the ah right, so this is the thing that charges up these uh, Joy-Cons. So you just have to probably put these in here and get them charged up, and then you're ready to go. Uh, I'm going to do that later on, I'm not going to rush it now because I'll end up breaking it as I usually break my new things when I rush, so I'm just going to open them out, nice little packaging, nice little tidy uh, box here as well, I must add, uh, so these are the kind of attachments to the Joy-Cons, so you get these attachments that you attach to the Joy-Con and then it makes it kind of usable, uh, I guess, I think, it makes the, it actually work. Oh, it actually puts the top buttons on it, so uh, so that goes onto there, they just slide on. Again, I'll do that later, let's have a look at this, that's the other one, so just get that one out. We've got the other kind of slidey thing, and that's the plus one, and that's the minus one, right. So, carry on, let's have a look, there's nothing else in this little area down here, no. So, let's move on to the right, 
So on the right looks like we've got our dock and this is the key thing. So this is what it's really all about. This is how we're going to connect it to our telly. Uh, just put that back in there. Get it out. It's quite like that. I thought this would be a little bit more heavy, this dock thing. It's really light. Um, okay, and there you go. So you've got Nintendo Switch here. Uh, very good. You've got that on light there. And that's where it kind of goes into, you don't know if you can see that, I'll just get it on the side. So it kind of fits into that area there, so you just drop it right in. Um, you've got your USB uh, 2 extension cables slots there, and at the back we've got HDMI, so this thing should just come down. So we've got our little connector kind of hub here, so we've got the AC adapter going in there, USB cable going in there, HDMI out to your telly going there. Very nice, so that's quite nice, it's nice and flush, uh, not too kind of like, you know, obscuring or anything like that, nice black on black, uh, so let's just put that to the side as well, and nothing else in that compartment, so finally in this compartment we've got Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch Lite, important information, right, uh, yeah, whatever, I can't be bothered with that, I'll read that later on. So here are our cables, we've got our HDMI cable here, so let's just have a look at this. HDMI cable, standard, so that'll just go into the back of that. And then we should have our UK adapter, yeah, UK, because obviously I'm from the UK. Um, and let's just uh, open this up. Make sure that it's right, yeah, 3 pin, UK adapter, Nintendo, bog standard stuff, right, okie doke. Right, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start setting this up now, and what I'm going to try doing is keeping both of my l accounts from my Switch Lite and my new Switch uh, as like the same accounts. Not going to set up a new account, so hopefully I'll be back with that one. Okay, so I've just taken out the main kind of unit, the tablet unit, so just have a quick look at the back here. We've got the Nintendo Switch label, we've got the kind of like the speaker grills there, we've got the kickstand that's down here, so I'll just get that out. Uh, and then right inside that kickstand you've got the um, SD card uh, that you can slot in, uh, which is not a very good place to put it, but it should be completely covered. Uh, but anyway, so over here we've got the port, so that's where the charger will go, and that's where it'll get docked in into this little groove. And on top here you've kind of got the air vent there, and then we have the kind of game card slot over here. So you've got the game card going in that side, close that up. And then we've got the on button, power on button, and we've got the up and down volume rockers. And then on the left and right we've got the uh, things, kind of attachment areas where the Joy-Cons go. So, let's just start putting our Joy-Cons in. Now this one is the one on the right, you've got to get this the right way around. I know my um, nephew bought one, uh, he got the grey one, and when he initially got one, they put it on the wrong way, and they couldn't get it off, so uh, that's something we don't want to do. So, there you go clicks on really nicely, that was quite easy um, and then again from here just slide that in from there there you go, there's that click wow that looks quite nice that actually, if we, if we put that side by side with this get rid of all that clutter so you've got the switch there and you've got the switch light so you know it's a massive difference in size and even in weight I mean that weighs quite a lot you know you're gonna get quite tired holding that uh, for long periods of time whereas with this that's just so much lighter and more compact absolute brilliant right so now let's turn this on and see if there's any charge in it sometimes they usually do have a charge in it so let's just put that up here and let's just get switchy light out of the way let's just get a nice zoom in on that so right what the volume's quite good on this as well actually and that's one thing that I had um, uh, that I'd, I'd say is a disadvantage of this I don't think the volume's loud enough on the speakers on the switch light I think the uh, I think the volume on this is a lot better okay English region, most likely Europe. Uh, please read your information documents carefully before using this console. Yeah, whatever. Not going to be that crazy, is it? 
yes, that's my Wi-Fi, so I'm going to put that Wi-Fi in while you can look at my Streets of Rage screen. So, excellent. Yes, London, Lisbon. That's my time zone. You can enjoy Nintendo Switch on large screen by connecting to a telly. Mm, do that later. Detach the Joy-Con controllers. What you want me to detach now? Hold the rear release button. Right, let this better. See, that's a bit weird. Don't want to mess it up now, do we? Okay, so you just press that little button there and they come off quite easily. Okay, uh, we press that little button there and they come off quite easily. That's quite nice and easy, that, isn't it? Alright. How to charge Joy-Con controllers. Right, actually, you know what? Let's have a look at that. If the Joy-Con controllers run out of power, attach them to the console to charge them. To fully charge, going to attach them to the console while it is charging. A full charge takes about three and a half hours. Okay, so that's where we've got to attach them. Um, where would you put the battery on that then? How would that get charged up? Oh well, what we'll do is we'll just leave that later, uh, for later, use the left stick to select next. Okay, so we're going to use this left stick to select next, okay. Then press A on the right controller, press A on the right controller. Use the console with the Joy-Con controls attached or detached. Choose the control style you prefer, then continue. Uh, I think I'm going to do that one. That's fine. The user will be added to the console, blah blah blah. You know what, I'm going to put these back on. That's a pretty cool noise that when uh, it clicks in, isn't it? <laughs> that little click. Alright, um, so let's just... The user will be added to the console. Important data such as data, that's fine. Import user from another Nintendo Switch console. Yes, let's do that. That's a little fluff on there. Do you still have the console that you'd like to import user from? Yes. Do you plan on continuing to use the original console in addition to this one? Yes, I plan to use my Nintendo Switch Lite. Yes. Please link to the same Nintendo account as the one you are on the other console. Yes, let's link it up. Preparing. A system update is required. Great. A system update can be performed during the initial setup of the console. To perform a system update later, select settings, whatever. Okay, so I've linked it up. Because you linked to a Nintendo account, you can now use the following features, friend features, news about games and special offers, Nintendo eShop, posting screenshots to social networks, yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't bother about that. There you go, Kratos. So, now, what we should be able to do is, if we go to the eShop, <coughs> Nintendo eShop, Kratos, Now this should have all my excuses you enter the password for your Nintendo account. Enter. Okay. Alrighty then, so now I've got into my Nintendo linked uh, eShop, so let's have a look at uh, my game. So this should be down here. Redeem, no not redeem code, not coming soon. So I think, there we go, uh, I think it's, to go here, uh, re-download, so if we click on re-download, and there you go, so these are all my games, so that works quite nicely, oh, where have I gone, oh, I'm so used to clicking on that, so again, let's go back to, um, uh, so it was the, click on that, re-download, and let's just have a look. So yeah, so I've got my Neo Geo Fatal Fury, I've got my Miami Drive, Asphalt, which is a free game, Brohalla, uh, not gonna bother with that, Guns Gore and Cannoli. Oh, what an awesome game, so let's get that one done. Guns Gore and Cannoli, what a great game that is, I absolutely recommend it. Guns Gore and Cannoli 2, waste of time, they've ruined the controls on it, so uh can't be bothered with that. Mortal Kombat 11, 
downloadable content. He, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. Um, Slain, great game. Streets of Rage 4, absolutely. Might download the rest later. I've not even put a memory card in this yet, so I don't want it to get completely full. So download started. So let's just get back, click back on that home button. And there you go. So I've got my Streets of Rage 4 and I've got my Guns Gore and Cannoli. Happy days. So there you have it then, folks. Um, I think... Uh, that's about it for that. Uh, all we need to do is set it up on the telly now. Now, I actually got this for my kids as a present for Eid, because Eid's coming up in about uh, six, seven days, and hopefully uh, it'll be a nice little surprise, and nobody knows I've got this right now. So I want to just get it all set up, and then I'm going to rebox it all up. Uh, just going to make sure it works, and then hopefully it'll be a nice little Eid present for them, and all three of us can play together, and we'll end up playing Streets of Rage. So hopefully this has given you a nice little insight on the Nintendo Switch, uh, which one to buy in 2020? Well, let me just get a zoom back on that to bring its a little brother or little sister, if you like. So there it is. We've got Streets of Rage there. Got Streets of Rage over here. This is still downloading, so I'll wait for that to download. But yeah, so which one you should buy? I mean, ultimately. Uh, it all depends on whether you're a mobile person and right now with the COVID virus nobody's mobile it's an absolute nightmare so hopefully God willing when this whole virus situation fizzles away then I guess the best decision for you to make is whether you're going to actually uh, play this by yourself or play it with your family like I do uh, a lot with like, again we've got the Wii we've got the Nintendo DS's and 2DS XL we play together a lot so if you've got a family and you play together with the kids and because they're at home I would absolutely say this is the one to go for I would not waste your time on this because you're restricted on that one you're going to have to buy everybody one of them It's gonna the money's going to become really silly and this is actually only just about £100 more than that and with £100 more you're getting a console so that's number one it's bigger better screen um and you know faster processor and hopefully with a better improved battery because i have found on that the battery does drain very very quickly i have yet to test it on this but again so you've got a, you know a bigger screen you've got these joy cons that two people can play without having to buy dual games uh, you've got the television option to play on the telly with joy cons you can have four players playing at the same time you can play on the tabletop mode uh, just put that on the table and play so this is way more better and i think it's way more uh, value for your money uh, again i probably should have just gone ahead and got this in the first place if i had got this in the first place i would not have bought this but uh this itself on its own is great for if you're just an individual and you want something to play with like maybe take to your bed when you go to sleep or you know sit down or when you're having a coffee you're more mobile easily uh, put in your bag uh whereas again with this you're going to be a little bit more careful with this um because you know it's a, a bit more expensive um, well, it's a hundred pounds more expensive, isn't it? So, uh, so yeah. So I, again, it all depends on your own personal circumstances. But I personally, I would say go for this one. Now, I'm going to do a complete review after I've had a good go on this after about a month, and then I'll do a like for like comparison and say whether it was actually worth buying this or not. Hopefully, it would have been, and then hopefully, it makes your decision a lot easier for you if you're looking to buy. Hopefully, you can actually get one. I was very fortunate to getting one. It's absolutely ridiculous the way things are going with, uh, you know, supply and demand uh, for these type of things. But yeah, and hopefully you enjoyed this um, uh, uh, video and quick little unboxing and setup. And uh, hopefully, I'm saying hopefully a lot, aren't I? <laughs> well, you need to be hopeful, don't you? So um, uh, let's see each other on the next one. So take care of yourself. Keep sketching. Keep enjoying yourself. Stay safe. Stay well. And we'll meet again on the next one. So take care of yourself and peace.